and uh, we'll start back here in receiving. So this is where our UPS trailer comes. Uh, you can just see this is a this is a shelf that we use to um, hold certain materials on uh, that come in that need to go to certain departments. Uh, view of our cardboard baler. You can kind of tell it's a little rough. Uh, as far as keeping it clean, got some cardboard over here that somebody uh, hasn't taken care of yet. Um, you can kind of just tell we've got some random spots of materials there. Just kind of got these bins, kind of, you know, you can tell this needs to be organized. Uh, again, we're working on all this type of stuff. This is yet another shelf um, that is a pickup shelf. Or even sometimes we get our neighbor's orders. Uh, or packages and then you can yeah those actually need to go next door um, there's Chris on our forklift uh, taking care of some cardboard but you can see um, as we walk through here again that's our receiving department kind of going into our uh, prep slash vinyl department uh, you can see we've got some other type of cardboard here that's being stored kind of some boxes lying around um, again, we've done some improvements, uh, but you can kind of just tell this doesn't look super organized and we're going to work on all of that. Um, coming back through, this is our vinyl department that we are going to revamp. So it'll be good to have this on film so that we can come back and visit what it looks like once I get it improved. Looks like somebody forgot their water cup. Um, all right, so there's our vinyl department again. That will all be revamped. Uh, coming into our prep department, you can kind of see here as you walk through, again, more cardboard storage. Um, some cardboard underneath tables. Again, a lot of this stuff will be moved around, um, but there's some more boxes that we got to get people in the habit of breaking their own boxes down. Uh, got some drinks here underneath this table. One there as well. Some test prints. Um, Got to get that stuff taken care of, obviously, and standardized. We need to sort, sweep, and standardize. You can see over here, you can kind of see some progress in action here. We've got some folks that are cleaning up some ink racks right now. And so you see a little pile there. That's how you know we're sorting and sweeping. Um, cleaning up some ink carts. That looks like a, something needs to happen there as well. But yeah, the ink department's in the middle of some 3S. Um, and so they're working on getting, you know, cleaning some of their materials up as well. All right, you walk over here. This is where you got some evidence that we're working on some 3Sing. Here is uh, some of our uh, nudge that we're collecting. You can see that we've got this labeled nudge. All right, got that from Fast Cap. Uh, and those guys at uh, Paul Aker's company, Fast Cap. Um, some guys are just going through um, and collecting uh, products and, and materials and coffee pots and keyboards and monitors and printers and water cut, you know, Gatorade deals, uh, water coolers is what I was looking for, shelves, tape dispensers, folders, coffee cups. Uh, that's a box that's just trash. That shelf, uh, we've got some scales. Some old test prints that have been sitting around the building for a year or so. That's even what's in that box down there. Um, we're just kind of collecting all that and make sure it's trash or not. And then if it is, we'll get rid of it. But if we can repurpose it through the shop. But we're going to document how many of these we fill up and throw away. Uh, this is a good one. Somebody found this and it's a, it's a, a case that holds CDs uh, for you kids that don't know what that is. That was the way we used to listen to music. Uh, so not sure who needs that. So obviously that's nudge um, Video of our maintenance area. This is a point of big emphasis for us uh, going around you can see um, Just kind of look around got some fans that might not be working still um, Somebody's got some cups there that they might not be done with uh, You can see tools tape measure if you're looking for it and you get lucky you'll find it right there uh, but if you don't know what you're looking for uh, if exactly what you're looking for it's just going to be difficult to find so you can kind of just tell uh, these flashes materials and things like that are kind of just bulking up on us but we're going to get all this cleaned up as well 
um, sorted, swept, and standardized to where it's a maintenance department that we have pride in. Um, that's going to be a big undertaking, but I think we can do it like a garage and get everything out of there and then sort it and put it back in and, and get it, you know, like I said, get everything labeled and, and whatnot. Um, you come up here to the embroidery department. Uh, if I go inside the embroidery department, you'll be able to tell this is an area um, that we started lean in. And so you just already, it just feels fresher when you walk in it. And you can just tell, uh, we've, I've built these shelves uh, that holds every material that an embroidery department needs. Uh, and so that's on every machine and it holds all their tools that they need. So this department over here is slamming and jamming. Um, we've added we've added some um, time savings uh, deals to it. You know, we, we used to bring our finished orders outside of the department over there to another table. Now this depart this table is just right inside of here, saving steps every day. Um, and then we've got um, you know just a, just a lot of different improvements. You can just tell. I mean, this has been swept. This has been sorted. And we're working on standardizing it, so uh, definitely something to be proud of inside of this department. Um, and then I'll get a I'll get a view of one of our screen print pods um, that we're going to be able to make some big adjustments on and gains as far as efficiency due to uh, the three S's. So when you come in here, you can just see um, not a lot of organization over here. It's going to be cardboard. Uh, trash, trash. That's a box of something. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, more cardboard trash. Uh, this looks to be a bucket that somebody's using as a stool for their tools. But you can just see, if you look at the floor, gloves, trash, materials, tools. Um, you can see underneath the machine covers off of it, oil leaking, more trash, test prints, dust, shirts everywhere. Um, that's just an example. There's a part in the middle of the shop, belongs to maintenance, needs to go back to maintenance so everybody knows where this is at. Um, that's just a mess as you can tell. Um, you know, you just look around, you see the floors, we're going to be amazed one day when these don't look like this. Trash, ink, I mean everywhere. Trash, look at there. Another cup. Trash, materials. Um, you can just tell, and I mean, we've got six of these pods, so we've got a ways to go, but you can see these screen print operators are, um, they're messy. They're very messy. We're just not respecting the workplace. And so when we, when I stumbled upon Paul Akers and the way he runs his company, it was just very intriguing to me um, what a screen print shop could look like uh, if kept clean and kept organized. So you, you can just see, I mean, these are everywhere. There's trash, it's everywhere. Cardboard, trash, test prints. Um, I mean, it's just, this area over here, it's just got a long way to go, man. But we'll get there. Um, we will get there. With the help of every single employee in this company, we're going to change this whole thing around. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of just a quick tour through our shop. Uh, again, we've got six of those screen print pods. So if you were to walk through every single one of them, uh, they, they would all look very similar to that mess that we were looking at. But you can just kind of see chairs and screens and screens leaned up against the rack um, our transfer items printing items just kind of left test prints carts ink that hasn't been moved it's got dust completely on top of it um, that you know we've got screens underneath presses that's been it's been there for at least four months at least four months so that's on me because I know that. We got a happy birthday balloon over here. Uh, we've got a whole birthday set for people's birthdays, which was a culture move. We added this to give everybody balloons on their birthday on their machines. Um, but you know, this needs to be standardized. Um, and so yeah, 
there you go. That's what we've got. Um, just wanted to kind of talk to everybody and kind of show you what we were working with. Um, and again, I'll do another video. Uh, continuous improvement is the goal of Blue Cotton, and we will get there slowly but surely. Uh, we can't wait to take you on our journey.